Support your locals, starting with Space Smoke Shop, located on 125 E Pennington Street, Tucson, Arizona. Space Smoke Shop features local glass, cheap tobacco, and any drink you can think of. They're also a hookah lounge and a venue. Like them on Facebook to keep up with shows, details, and new products. Every second and fourth Tuesday is Punk Rock Tuesday at Space Smoke Shop, 125 East Pennington Street, downtown Tucson, Arizona. Be sure and tell them you heard about it on the GMR podcast. GMR, you are listening to the GMR podcast. You can hear my show on Stitcher. Stitcher is radio on demand. Download the free app today. Listen anytime. Anywhere. Create custom playlists. Rate and review my show on Stitcher. And over 4 million car dashboards. On demand and on the go. No downloading, no syncing, no wasted memory. Stream your favorite podcasts. Don't have Stitcher? Download it free today at Stitcher.com or in the App Store. Clearly now. The so, rain is gone. No, the rain is gone. It's not raining at the all. The ray is gone. Ray. The ray. Ray almost was here. So, that's so very, very close. That's what we call him now. Ray almost was here. He was almost here. He's here in spirit. Yeah, he's been uh, doing a lot more Twitter and Facebook activity. So all those of you who want to keep up with Ray, uh, check out, you know. Yeah, follow him on Facebook. Like yeah. him. Yeah, I, think he, I believe he's at. Ramon Daniel 73, or you could just find them through at GMR Podcast, which is what you're listening to. I'm Marty Cazola. I'm Gene Mott. It's episode 57, or show 57. 18 weeks to Comic Con. (sighs) Amazing. I forget how many weeks to Big Brother. I think we can just add like four weeks to that. Yeah. So, 22 weeks to Big Brother. Wow. 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 So we just finished listening to the four-hour Howard Stern birthday bash, which was, which was free. It was off the hook. Oh, it was good. Like there, everybody everybody and their brother was there. Yeah, it's going to be more about who wasn't there. You know, you're, you're the outcast if you weren't there. But yeah, that was, that was four hours. And it went by pretty quick. They did a pretty good job of not running over too far. I believe as we're recording this, they're still doing their post show. They're replaying it again Monday morning for free. So if you want to listen to it for free, if you didn't hear it, go to SiriusXM.com Monday morning. and you can You're going to post free. this before Monday morning? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Sweet. Sweet. It's the internet. I see it. It's crazy. It's looking back at me. I can tell there's a little dot on the top of that uh, monitor. We're being watched right now. Plus, we have these phones. Boom. Let alone the fact we're holding microphones in our hands. And apparently, Angry Birds is uh, used to spy on people. Is that right? That's what I was hearing. What is it used to? What are they trying to find out? You know that that top secret stuff. You ever play Angry Birds? No. No. You ought to check it out. So I can be spied on. Sure, why not, bro? Why not? It's not as easy as you think. I don't know, maybe you don't think it's that easy. Maybe you're like, I think I don't even want to play it. But somebody out there is getting, uh, beating the game 100, you know, getting a high score. I heard about some guy that used to play it so much that his finger would bleed. Remember that? It was a story on Howard Stern. Wow. Who was that? Hmm. Hmm. Some guy from Vegas, I think. GMR. GMR. 
Podcast. Podcasting live and in person. We're podcasting. This weekend. We seem to be doing punk rock uh, or live podcasting somewhere in the city. Trying to book a, a coffee house or, you know, if you got you want us to come to an event like a bar mitzvah or, or a birthday party, hey, give us a call. Send us a tweet, you know? Yeah, we can do the podcast there it. that week. Could you hear all that bag noise? What is the show without background noise? I don't know. I need a cigarette. That's where we're, we're going with this. So, Comic-Con, 18 weeks. Yep, still nothing more announced, but that would just uh, reveal it all ahead of time. And We still have 18 weeks to go. So. Yeah, well, in those 18 weeks, they're going to add hundreds of people right at least a hundred or so buy your tickets now they're gonna go up yeah yeah you better you better log in queue up you know refresh but you better save money for the spoon booth we're gonna start our own spoon business i don't know if that's 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 the that's the kickstarter i was talking about marty we're gonna start doing making our own spoons spoon starter boom we're I know a place in China we can get we can get spoons by the ton. They'll put anything we want on them. It's going to be good. Designer spoons. Designer spoons. We'll put your face on a spoon. We'll put your sister's face. We'll put your dog's face. We'll do all kinds of stuff. Because let's face it, who doesn't want their face on a spoon? Wouldn't you like to eat stuff off your own face? Come on, that makes now sense. Now you can. It just makes sense. Stay tuned. So. Now. All you people Come. out there, I hope you're listening to us on one of our various platforms. For example, I got a tablet, and I realized I couldn't use the Buzzsprout site through the tablet. Thank goodness for Stitcher. Stitcher Radio. That's a way to listen to it on your tablet if your tablet is like mine and it can't do hardly anything. Or there's always YouTube. Don't forget about the YouTube links. That is weird. It is. So we're going to be uh, pushing all of our platforms more now, not just Buzzsprout, because my eyes have been opened, and we want more listeners. So let those listeners, potential listeners, realize there actually is a way to listen to the show rather than clicking on the link, not being able to hear it, and then getting discouraged and never looking again. Stitcher. Brought to you by Stretcher. I don't know. Stretcher. Stretcher.com. That's like Buzzcut, you know. Buzzcut or Buzzcunt. That's a that's a that's totally a whole different, different site, site that's altogether. A, you know I'm sure. I'm, I'm, I'm sure people are already familiar with that. Buzz sprout, right? Yes. Like buzz a sprout. like a plant is sprouting. Yeah. And there's a buzz about the things that are sprouting off of the the website. Exactly. And that would be one of those things is the GMR podcast. That's right. GMR Pod Sprout. <laughs> We're up to episode fifty six, fifty seven, sprout fifty seven. That's just crazy. And Ray Ray is... Uh, he's inching closer. He's going to be here for our 100th episode. He better be here for the 100th episode. At least by the 100th episode. Coming later this year, episode 100. That will reach that approximately November. Wow. That's right. Comic-Con will be long over. Yeah, we'll, we'll be getting ready for Tucson Comic-Con again. We'll be almost ready to count down to... Phoenix Comic Con 2015. Get your tickets now. I'm going to get a booth for the spoons. We had to reserve one. We ought to, I mean, you don't have to pay for it right then, right? You just have to reserve it. No, I think you have to pay for it right then. Up front? Yeah. A year up front? I'm paying for well, something a year up front? That's how big this thing's getting. That's, 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 that's big time. All right, well, let's do it. Let's just... they, they know somebody else has the money already, so. Yeah. Yeah, because most a lot of people, if you're there already, hopefully you're already making a a couple hundred. I don't know how much it costs, thousands of dollars, right? No, I don't think it's that much. How much is it for a weekend? It's a couple hundred. That's it? That's not bad. Yeah, that's why it fills up so fast. I think the prices are going up every year. It's getting so much bigger every year. You know, thanks to things like Big Bang what Theory the, constantly talking about Comic-Con. Oh, it's all their fault. Those sons of bitches. <laughs> I know it's pissing me off, too. It's well, like our little thing. Yeah. That's what I, it always yeah. happens. You know, you, we don't even, we couldn't handle San Diego. I couldn't handle San Diego. Maybe you could, bro. 
but I'm I'm gonna say I'm gonna have a panic attack. I'm bad things are gonna happen. Yeah. Either that or I'm gonna have to be like uh, just all kinds of Xanax and pills out, and somebody's just gonna have to wheel me around, man. Maybe you can volunteer. Maybe I could volunteer. Yeah, I could stand there to be the person that says, "Hey, you can't sit here." Yeah. You gotta get up, and move. Do the whole thing for free. That sounds fucking uh, crazy. <laughs> GMR. It's a podcast. It is a podcast. It's it's microphones and talk and all kinds of shit. There was a category for what we do on Stitcher. I noticed. Yeah. TC was asking me about that, and I couldn't. Uh, Something like pop culture babble or whatnot. I'm like, hey, that sounds like the GMR podcast. Some of our better episodes, yeah. I don't know about this one. This one is show 57. 57. You know, you always get a lull around the 50s, late 50s. And then you surge back at 60. That's right. So we're waiting for the surge right now. It's coming. It's going to be off the hook, I tell you what. So, I was at The Rock last Saturday. I was at The Rock last night. Wow. We go to The Rock a lot. It's pretty cool. Who did you see at The Rock? Oh, I saw Ooh. Richie Ramone at The Rock with about five or six opening acts. Wow. Wow. And I thought, eh, I'll show up late so I won't have to watch the opening bands. I guess I didn't show up late enough. What time did you get one there? One after the other, after the other, 8.30. What time did he, did Richard Ramone play? Oh, probably about 11.30. It's all about 12, 15 or so. So you wish you'd have got there more around uh, 10.30? Yeah, I probably could have actually gone to work that day instead of taking the day off, gotten off of I work thought, and I drove thought you right worked down in the there. morning instead. No, I just took the day off. No, I thought you worked. I, I uh, got a vacation day for it, so. Yeah, you should have just went to work. Yeah, then I could have saved yeah. vacation day, but whatever. It was, it was a good show. There was only about 30 people there, but uh, it was still good. That's how those shows are. They're not promoted well enough. Like, in the weekly last week... I think there was a picture of him, but it didn't really say anything, right? Yeah. I still can't hear anything. What do you mean? Oh, oh, you blew your ears out. Yeah. Yeah, because you're right there. There's like between the front door and the stage. What's that, about 30 feet? If even. You don't need to pay to see. You know, you could just stand outside and look through the you door. You really could. Just keep walking across the other side of the street and just be like, hey, fuck you guy if the security guy's giving you any trouble. Yeah, it was just one opening band after the other to the point where I thought, that's all this is going to be is just opening bands all night, nothing else. I definitely got my $17 worth out of it, so that's for sure. Nice. I saw High Intentions, the Battle of the Bands, last Saturday. Oh. That's a pretty good crowd. Better than the Punk Rock Tuesday? Uh, it was kind of a, a, kind of a small, smaller crowd than we'd had the previous Punk Rock, the first Punk Rock Tuesday mm -hmm. of the year. Started off with a bang and it slowed down a little bit. But do, do people wander in and say, I heard about this on the GMR podcast? I don't think they do. No. No, well, they need to. They're, they don't know what they're Every missing. Every You say it. I, I say it at the beginning of the oh, show. Yeah. Well, every, not every week. Every every couple every weeks. second and fourth Tuesday. Is, is that what it is? Is Punk Rock Tuesday at the Space Smoke Shop? That's right. It's a pretty good crowd. Not bad. I've seen worse. I've seen one night. I it was just JJ playing on his DS, his Nintendo DS, just playing techno music on his on his DS. And I was the only one paying attention. That's all that there was? It was just me and him, basically. Wow, well, we could definitely do a live GMR podcast, then. If that's if, they're, if that's what they do some weeks, then uh, shit. I think it was a, a low turnout because uh, live it, in space. it wasn't in the Tucson Weekly. 
Now, last this, year. It's like the rock show last night wasn't in the Tucson Weekly this week. Last year, this week, we talked about groundhogs for the better part of an hour. Oh, yeah. You mean whistle pigs. Whistle pigs. I don't whistle know pigs. how that happened that it went on that long, but here it is almost Groundhog Day again. And you think it's going to be short winter? Oh, I don't think it's been a winter at all, it dude. It was outside today, and it was actually overcast and cold again. This morning, I woke up. You weren't up, but I thought it was going to rain or something. I looked out my window. Stuck my head out my window, actually. And it looked like it was going to rain, but... No, then also the next thing I know, it's like 90, 75 degrees out there or something like that. Crazy warm. And now it's uh, all cold and windy outside. We live in the desert. QMR. Sure, it's fucking wet and cold. So what? <laughs> Big deal. 18 weeks. Well, that's about right, though. You know, I'll be, I'll be ready in 18 weeks. If it was two weeks, I don't know. I don't know if I'd be ready for that. It's too much. Once a year. Let's start going to the Anaheim Wonder, Comic Con. WonderCon. WonderCon. Let's go to WonderCon as an it's alternative. It's just as good. No, it's not. Oh, those, those fucking shows, are, that was a good episode. Yeah, that was a good one. Talking about the Big Bang Theory. Yes. That we enjoy. What else do we enjoy? I think Comic Book Man is starting back up. This weekend? Uh, I'm not sure. New Talking Dead and Comic Book Men? Soon. Nice, nice. People are calling in, asking about the Super Bowl. Yeah, who's going to win that thing? Whoever is playing. Oh. That's that's who I think is going to win. Now, who could that be? Ray, come pick me up, bro. A little, a little too late in the evening for that. No, no. This is a cliff. Nope, Howard Stern's taking the Twitter. Looking at the TV listings, trying to see who's in the Super Bowl. Sorry. No, I'm actually not looking that up. What are you looking up? I'm trying to see when Comic Book Men comes back on. Oh. If, if that gives you any and any indication as to how I feel about the Super Bowl. <laughs> That's why. Did you ever uh, you bet on the Super Bowl before, haven't you? Probably. See, that makes it exciting, right? Sure. Now, they're just having a Walking Dead marathon. Let's see about next week. It comes on at like 1 o'clock in the morning. What, the Super Bowl? No. Now, yeah. now if it did, you might, I might be, be interested. more into that. Mix it up a little bit. Yeah, new comic book men, February 10th. So next weekend. Yeah. So our power grows. So our power grows. Because that show We're made still of being metal. on has a lot to do with us. So. I had a, I had a dream with the comic book men, a couple of them. Who was it? You know, dreams are you can't remember anything. I wake vague. up. I wake up, and it's immediately forgotten that happened. Yeah, it's a really good anecdote. I'm glad I. I'm glad I dropped it. I've been working on that for a while. I've, all, I've been thinking about that whole past couple of days. Saving it up for podcast. Saving it up for the podcast. Specifically for show fifty-seven. We got to start doing hidden mic podcasts because I do a lot of my best work. I don't think anybody's paying attention. All the more reason to do a a live GMR podcast at a GMR podcast. So how many episodes of the law are there? Per week? Ten billion? You mean all together? How far can you go back? To the beginning of known civilization, it seems like. No, that's, that's, people have been wrestling since the beginning of time, right? And it, it, the funny thing is it always threatens to give a new episode of Lounge Town podcast, mm. but it never happens. Oh, man. Did you ever listen to that last one? No, no. Oh, man. JJ still hasn't listened to the entire, hasn't you know, finished watching Big Brother 15 yet. To me, it's kind of like, 
Kyle Howard was describing The Bachelor the other week. Uh, once the show's over, I don't, I don't care anymore. It, it's, it's done. <laughs> so Andy won. That's great. Oh, spoiler alert. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, JJ. JJ just suddenly happened to stumble onto this episode. Oh. Well, now, now you're done. We have freed you. You don't have to deal with that anymore. I'm watching season s- epi- season uh, 11. I just bumped my nose on the microphone. You can move on with your life now. Oh, you've gone backwards. I've so. gone backwards. Well, that I'm, can be I'm interesting. I'm deep in the shit. After some time has passed. I was, wa- then, you know. yeah, I was watching it the other day. Because you don't remember it is the nice thing. All of a sudden, I could remember I told you I couldn't remember who won. Yeah. And then I'm watching it and I'm like... Oh, yeah, fuck Jordan won. That's uh, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kind of takes all the wind out of the sails. Because I'd, I'd honestly forgotten, and I'm watching it. I should have known because it already happened. Jordan. You know what's weird? Jordan and Jeff were the first two pitchers on the screen. That just goes to show you my theory. Remember that theory I had the first two people... At least it was a it was a valid theory for a couple of years. The first two people on the Big Brother After Dark were the winners until they caught on to your master plan mm, and they figured it out. They yeah, that's like Big Brother is itself. It works that way. You watch it, you think you got it figured out. You go on there, they change the fucking rules on you that year. But what I've noticed is if you got a solid game plan, it doesn't matter how much they change the rules. Wow, just look at Chill Town. If you think about it, all those guys are like, that was so 13 years ago that all that happened. The first season, the second season. That's that's several lifetimes ago. I'm amazed at how many of these ancient reality shows are still on and the ones that didn't survive. You know, Fear Factor, gone. Yet yeah. The Bachelor is still on. I, I never would have expected that one to continue. Well, and of course, Survivor. There's only so much you could do with Fear Factor, you know? How, mu- how much weird shit can you eat or let somebody dump on you? I guess that's been replaced by Wipeout, a show that I've never watched. What's that? Uh, it's, it's almost like one of these Japanese-type shows where they go through Z- weird obstacle courses in the, in the water. Start reading these tweets live. The no, they got enough. Oh man. Want a cookie? Who are listeners? Yeah. I don't know how we're going to be able to deliver that. To them. Uh, you tweet us right now, live at the GMR pot. See, right there, boom. Got a hit. Somebody really wants a cookie, Marty. Who is it? Who is it wants uh, that cookie? I don't understand your reference, sir. What? GMR. Podcasts are selling cookies. On tw- on Twitter right now. Who is? We are. No, we're not. I got a cookie right here. I have people. No, really, there are cookies in this container. That is true. There are cookies. But by the time you're listening to this, I might still have the cookie. You don't know. But do you want a week old cookie? No. Marty doesn't even want it now. Doesn't mean they're bad cookies. No. It just means he just doesn't want a cookie. And he certainly is not going to want it when it's a week old. Because it'll be all what a week old. Cookies are meant to be eaten. Words of wisdom from GMR Podcast. Cookies are meant to be eaten. Think about it. If I've done one thing, <laughs> let my legacy show... But I, I had a dream, a message that cookies should be eaten. All right, that was not. And what about cakes? That's a whole separate podcast. You know, it used to be bring us stuff. Now we're giving the stuff back to you. What was that? Never mind. What happened? I don't know. Something made a noise. I didn't hear anything. You have headphones on. That, and I'm still... I can't hear anything. No, just cut that part out. I thought that was the chair. It's the chair. Just cut that part out. What could possibly make... What kind of sound was it? 
What kind of salad was it? What kind of sound was it? We oh. need to investigate this. It was no, it was no sound. It was a, I'm it, you know what it was? It was that. It was that package. Uh, I'm concerned. No, all right, but it was that package. It was that that plastic. Now, why does plastic do that? Pop? Why does it pop? Or I mean, how temperature changes? It's, it's fucked up. It's temperature get, changes. You get a water bottle. You drink it. Ten minutes later, it starts making noise. Yeah. I don't like that. It's Noisy disturbing. things? That's why we used to have glass. Glass yeah, the didn't glass make noise. The glass did not make noise. <laughs> it would just sit there and wait for you to pick it up. We need to go back to glass. It's easier yeah. to biodegrade. You back just, in the 70s. You smash it in the dust, and there it's was, instantly uh, recycled. There was broken glass everywhere in the 70s. GMR. Podcast. It's fucking hot in here. It's because it's not winter anymore. I know what the hell's going on. I got a jacket on. It's not. It's even. all those aerosol cans lit on fire in the desert. What's going on? Hole, holes in the ozone layer. What's happening? Hey. Well, I guess we have to wait to see what the groundhog says before we can really find out the answer to that question. I'm taking my jacket. Of what's happening? No, the podcast's almost over, and I've just now taken my jacket off. Yep. GMR. I've been hot and uncomfortable this whole time. Let's do it again. Start over. All right, erase. Is this the erase button? And now it's time for the after show. Oh, wow. Hey, that was a pretty good show, man. The post show, the thing that... The post... No, it's... The after show. The oh, thing man. that we always forget to do. It's so hot in the studio today. Even last week we forgot to do it. Jeez. Oh, and those tweets just keep on a coming. They do. I tell you what, so who wants the cookie? That's I'm serious not, that's about not the what they're tweeting about. Besides, <laughs> we're not live anyway. Somewhere we're live. Somebody liked Sarah Silverman's song on the birthday bash. Was that hilarious. was pretty good. It was hilarious. Do you think they wrote those themselves? Probably. Because yeah. they're mega fans, you know, or super fans, as they would say. I'm going to have to listen to that again. GMR. Oh, but that was, it's after show. What am I talking about? That's, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm living in the past. It's so hot five there. minutes ago. I, really? I think it's fine. Oh, I am. Hey, I, I got a jacket on, and I am totally hey, comfortable. For those right. of you at home, to let you know, and maybe it's not so hot in here. Maybe it's just hey. right. Just but if you were here, you might be saying it's cold. If Ray was here, he'd probably be saying it's cold in here, just uh, so we could have all viewpoints covered I on the after show. Some, some, some like it hot. Some like it cold. The after show. In other words, I'm not done talking. Hit record again. Well, that's enough after show for that one night. That was a pretty there. good one. We like to keep these down to about a, a nice two-minute length, so you can get back on your way and listen to something else on Stitcher, or go back and listen to those old episodes. Have you heard episode 48 lately? Uh, you, you should. I don't remember what happened, but you should listen to that. One. It's pretty good, as I recall. Yeah. Wow. 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 Wow.